Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users. Friends, in this is the ninth tutorial of this WordPress and WooCommerce series. And in this particular tutorial, we will going to we will learn that how we can display category image on archive page. This is the link from where you can get that snippet and its title is display category image on archive category archive display category image on category archive what does it means that if you go to uh, your wordpress store you have products but these products belongs to a particular category suppose if you want to see th those categories if i look at uh, i don't have the menu so let me create a quick menu first uh, this is over uh, menu social menu social primary menu if i select this primary menu home about this one is ordering main menu select main menu and, and this main menu will have uh, products uh, sorry categories and here is over uh, all categories related to posts product tags and here we have product tags and mm, we need to see does we support uh, product categories or archive yeah here it is product categories so i will add color clothing music poster food and drink cinema hotels and add it to the menu as it is save it manage location and i will select top menu as main menu let's save it and then we load this page and you see we have here the menu so these are the categories like if i go to music category it will display only products uh, from music and just let me tell you this uh, santa claus running on the screen and you can see the lights in action on the top bar this one is a plugin i have created for coming christmas so if you are going to celebrate Christmas then Merry Christmas from my side and my team side and from perfect web solutions to you and you can see snow is already falling so let's cut to the topic <laughs> if we are on the music this is archive page if you see it's saying here product category and music but uh, but you don't see this image and um, here over here so what we can do if I go to menu and book products categories and this particular category uh, it is music and if I find the music let me find the music and if I edit it and here you can see there is an option of thumbnail so you can create a beautiful banner for your uh, particular category you can create and then uh, let me see this um, food there is food link food and drink if I click on here there is only one per so let's talk about food and drinks because I have a very good image for food and drinks so I will click on this edit and then click on this and here is the image it is 1024 by 630 683 and this one is the same so let me use this or maybe i can use this no i think this one looks nice no no yeah this one is okay fine good so i will be using here so display type product subcategory both so this one is to display what kind of products you want to display parent is belong to not, nothing so <coughs> here i will click and update it after that if i click here 
you will see nothing is changed it must display and suppose I write here lovely foods and drinks you can order on this page it's updated reload the page and you see lovely food and drinks you can so it must display image here as well you can display an image from here by adding it here but currently this theme doesn't support some third party themes to support displaying category image over here but this 2017 child theme or the 2017 theme doesn't support this uh, how can we add this functionality if the theme is not supported to display a lovely banner here so this snippet is particular um, this purpose so just uh, view raw click on it and copy everything from here copy it go to your text editor and we need to go to our child theme uh, store wp content uh, sorry not plugin themes and 2017 child and here in the function.php file at the end of the file i just paid this code so as you have know that i have explained this that add action function what does it do so i have added this action to woocommerce archive description woocommerce archive description if you want to find it where it is this you can look at into the woocommerce folder woocommerce plugin folder and you can find this particular uh, action and this action will be uh, it will be used as do action in the product in the woocommerce and here we are adding a particular function to this action so what this function will do if it will check that if is product category that if you are on a product category page this is a product category page if you are on it then run a global wp query this is a global function of wordpress and then get the categories this query uh, if i double select it go to uh, definition it won't go to because this one is anyway because this one is wordpress built-in function and i haven't added complete wordpress in the site panel if i did that before it will go to that particular function let me show you what that what i mean if i open this and rather than only adding this i completely copy this foo store here like so and remove this from here and from project and then i will go wp content themes 2017 child functions double click on it go to definition this time it's to, it is telling you i found this one on the two in the two files in the class and the query so in basically it's in the query so, so go to definition and query and this is actually the query further so this one will get the categories and then in the thumbnail id it will read woocommerce this is the woocommerce meta function go to the definition you find this get woocommerce return function exists get meta get term meta term id basically it is using the term which is wordpress default functionality get term meta you see it is in wp con uh, includes taxonomy.php this function is here in the taxonomy.php PHP file. So for this purpose, the Sublime Text Tree is a very good tool. Maybe there are other IDE smart IDEs like this one, but it is very lightweight, not like heavy functionality, and it is very useful when you are a, um, are a developer and developing something which you couldn't find on the internet. Like you can search the snippets. I have done this one. Uh, this snippet I I have got it from. Uh, sorry. Uh, here I have got it from WooCommerce Codex. So if you couldn't get it, you can read the code. So let me uh, go to the function.php and this one and same goes for this. Save this file and run it again. 
and now you see you have this image here looking beautiful you can resize it if you inspect element and you can find its image and there is no class in it so basically you can add here any class class is equals to cat image category image img cat img category image so if i run it you will have this class here and you can wrap it, it into a div and make some effects nice effects and now i can add cat image dot cat image max uh, height uh, 300 pixel and you see width 100 percent you see this is what i have done by only adding two line of code that it will display 100 percent image which is you see responsive as well and <clears throat> this is how you can add uh, now if you look at this description term description if you see it's under the image so what we can do further i can add another css term description so this is term description so position if before doing this i must uh, do it like this position absolute bottom zero or if i add bottom top zero top zero and you will see it is gone here so what actually it means that this term description and image if we wrap this bo these both into one div and we can then use it as a suppose that let me explain it to you i will do this and display block and position relative and after that i can wrap it in both terms and description into one image uh, sorry one div here and then i can make the necessary changes as i want like this one is displaying that only the image and the by default we need to find from where this description is coming and we can like let me show you going into plugins and uh, i have lots of plugin here so woocommerce templates <coughs> con archive product so here archive taxonomy archive description and product archive description these are two description which are responsible for displaying that archive description so i will go to its definition and here it is definition you see so if i do the same thing like if i copy everything from here and put it like i will remove this uh, sorry it's ending here so i need this code copied and go into my function and after wp query i will paste it here so rather than echoing it I will assign it to a variable uh, desc so description if description is equal to this description is this then I can do here like uh, div uh, sorry uh, div class is equals to cat details category details and i am here going to and i will close it here and here i will display desc if description then it will otherwise description is is equal to this and if uh, that there is if there is no description for the category 
it will not display it will display empty string so description is this and this one and of course if we don't remove this action so I will do copy this copy and paste the function here and use remove so it will not double it will not display so I have done this taxonomy archive description and product archive description both are almost same so I will uh, remove this one and this one as well so both this function taxonomy and comma pen remove this remove taxonomy and remove archive well, both are achieved by this archive description in this display so let me run it quickly let me see what will happen is there any error uh, mm, no error yeah no error image is this is the text this is the image so as i display it this record detail you see categories detail both are wrapped in so i will just quickly do this css styling here and display uh, div is already blocked so position and relative in the category description terms i will add position absolute and you see font size 22 pixel and uh, bottom zero right zero it will come here yeah color uh, FFS background DDD uh, D, 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 and line height 30 pixel right bottom 10 pixel mm, yeah, yeah, it is nice here and setting 0 pixel 10 pixel, uh, sorry, 10 pixel top bottom, 0 pixel this, and uh, this is term description. And we can further enhance this P as well later. So, this is how we achieve this task, and then we will cat detail max height. 300 pixel display block and position relative and this is if you look at this This text is moved above. It shouldn't happen here. So I will do this max width height auto. Actually, it's category image. So max height 300 pixel. and with 100% and then we can term description make it absolute position and this is how we can achieve our task and beautifully so I hope uh, you understand you can then copy this uh, detail like category detail from here 
and then paste it anywhere you want. I hope you like my tutorial. Please do subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. And if you like to join my page, please like my other page as well. So it will encourage us to write more tutorial for you. Also, if you are a developer and wants to help users, you can join our newly created group WordPress plus WooCommerce. And if you are looking for help also, you can join this and ask your questions here. And this is the best place Codex to learn new things and how to do different actions quickly. Like this add action, you can keep in mind and for future use, you can make any changes and you understand why I remove, if you don't understand why I remove this action. If I don't remove them, let's see what will happen. I just commented out and then I will just quickly want to show you what will happen if I don't remove those two actions. It will double up the display. You see, it is displaying here as well as it is displaying the title here. So it's doing two times. So that is the reason I have to remove these both actions so that this one will not be doubled and only we see the one here. So which we can align in on the page in the center anywhere we we'll, you want to or even you can display by hovering on it. So I hope you like my tutorial once again. Thank you very much and bye. Have a good day and happy Christmas as well.